Yeah. We know Sylvia's gonna go in. Josh is gonna raise it. Josh, you go ahead and go all in. There's no point in saving that. Uh... It's a low chip, so she's gonna. She's definitely gonna move all in here. <clears throat> yeah, put Marco in a spot. What does David yeah, do? Yeah, what does Marco do? Marco's well, got to call. He has no chips. He's well, Sylvia's chip. gonna move in. We well, can assume that for sure, right? Okay, so and she did that. Marco's got no chips. He almost has to call, I think. Yeah. I mean, look, he's only got like 10,000 chips. If Marco saw both hands, he would absolutely call because oh, yeah. his chances of winning are almost 50%. Oh, oh wow. wow, he laid it down. Great. Big lay down with only 8,000 in chips left. Four to one favorite for the two nines here. Oh, four and a nine. Wow. wow. You don't see that very often. Nope. But if they had money wrong. in front of them now. Uh, four. Now it's about a 50 to one uh, favorite. That only happens about one out of 100 times, by the way, where both pairs flop a set. Yes. The jack wow. and the three nines are going to win. Wow. Well, double up. Wow. This is how you do it. Now, it turned out that Marco made a very good fall. Uh, <laughs> As it turned out. Yeah, but I don't know if I could have with that little amount of chips. What do you think, Tom? No, no way. No way. We yeah. both would have gone all in there. So you're saying set over set is very rare. So if you flop a set, you got to figure the odds that nobody else has a set. The chances that both players flop sets is about one out of 100. But if you flop a set, those odds change because you've already flopped it. Now we're just worried about what the chances the other guy did. World Poker Exchange. WorldPX.com.